Hello and welcome back. First of all, I would like to thank you for supporting me in doing this good job. I want you to know that I always try to bring accurate and clear information to you. The sole purpose of me creating these videos is to help you understand those concepts that you always wanted to learn. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please do like, comment and share. If you are new to this channel, also hit the subscribe button in right bottom corner. With that being said, let's see what we have got today. How to troubleshoot MM Weight Messes 3 or when you see MM Weight Messes 3, what does that mean? What do you understand? Why your ASA is stuck at MM Weight Messes 3? So this video is about finding out why the ASA is stuck at MM Weight Messes 3. What does it mean and how do we fix the problem? To explain this, I'm going to use this setup that you're seeing on my screen. So it's basically the VPN is between Cisco and let's say IBM side, IBM end. So in this setup, we have a VPN between this ASA, is on the left hand side in the yellow, with the ASA on right hand side, the IPsec ASA. The edge ASA here is doing the routing part. Let's go back to the ASAs. So all the configuration has already been done on these devices. Configuration is not a part of this video. If you want me to do another video on how to configure a site-to-site -site VPN on Cisco ASC, add your comments to the video. If there are more than 50 comments, I will create a video about on how to configure site-to-site -site VPN. This is PC1, so I'm just gonna drag it to the left. Alright, so we have PC1, ASC1, ASC2. From PC1, so if I take you back to the topology once again, here PC1's IP address is 10.10.1.1 .10 and PC2 is 192.168.10.1. This is PC2. This guy is your PC1. So uh, what I'm going to do now is try to do a ping from here to here and see what happens. Uh, this is your ASC1. This guy here is your ASC2. So I'm back here. From PC1, I'm trying to do a ping to 192.168.10.1, which is the other computer on the other end. Let me just quickly draw a little topology here. So this is the topology that we have from PC1. I'm trying to ping PC2. So when I do that, I go back to ASA1 and check the status of the tunnel. Show crypto ICM SA. It says you are the initiator and you're currently at MM weight message 2. And what does MM weight message 2 mean? It means ASA1 has sent the first packet and it's waiting for the second message to be received. I've already done another video for MM weight message 2, so you can go back to that video and get understanding of what does MM weight message 2 mean and how to fix it. So here, MM weight message 2, that means I have sent the first packet, now I'm waiting for second message to be received. If I go go to the another other ASA, ASA2 here, and show crypto ICM SA. It says MM weight message 3. So this guy here says MM weight message 3. He says I am the responder and I'm waiting for message 3. So he says hey I have sent the message 2. I'm waiting for message 3. So he says I've done my job. And this guy ASA1 says I'm waiting for message 2. I haven't received yet. So when ASA2 says I'm waiting for message 3, he has sent message 2, but for some reason that message 2 has not reached ASA1, otherwise why would it wait at MM weight message 2, right? If you see ASA1 is still at MM weight message 2, that means it hasn't received second message. So where did the second message go? ASA2 has sent it and it didn't reach back to ASA1, so where is it? That's what we need to find out, where is message 3? How do we do it? Let's get some real data. Let's, let's get some proof that ASC2 has sent it. So if ASC2 has sent message 2, that must have left via its outside interface, right? So let's do a capture here. That should confirm that yes, you have sent message 2. Then we'll check here if it reached here or not. If it did not reach here, then it's a problem with the ISP, right? The underlying network. But first we need to make sure that ASC2 has sent it. 
right so let's go back to the ASAs and check the captures apply some captures on outside interface of ASA2 so how do I do a capture here so I say just let me verify the interface so interface is outside I say capture capture name interface outside match IP host 2.2.2 the peer IP is 63.1.13.142 show cap shows how many captures are applied so you know initially when I applied this capture there was no data so nothing was being captured zero bytes now you see 226 bytes that means something is being captured if you want to see what is in the in, in the capture if you want to see what is in the capture so you can say show cap cap out okay because we had those continuous pings going on so it's continuously trying to bring the VPN up now if you take a look we're seeing packets from 67.1.13.142 from ASC1 going to ASC2 I mean I'm doing this capture on ASC2 so here right here but I'm not seeing ASC2 replying back right the arrow indicates who is receiving it and who is sending it so it's 142 sending 2.2.2 is receiving 2.2 .2 is ASC2 ASA2 is receiving it, but this guy is not replying back. But wait, did it not say that I'm replying back? It's somewhere. If I say show crypt twice again, MSA, it says I'm waiting for message 3. That means he has sent message 2. So where did message 2 go? Is it possible that ASA2 did send message 2 but then it dropped it right and how do we figure out if ASA has dropped some packets to figure out if ASA has dropped any packet we can do something called as ASP capture this ASP, ASP capture will show you if your firewall if your ASA is doing any drops so let's do it how to do ASP capture so it's similar to the normal capture you say capture Give it a name so I usually use ASP then you say type what type of captures you you want to do it's capture ASP type ASP drop all and I would like to do it as a circular buffer because in real-time environment you will have too many data that your firewall will be dropping so you do not want this capture to be a normal capture you want it to be a circular buffer circular buffer what circular buffer means uh, it keeps doing a new capture it keeps capturing new data and delete the previous the old oldest one So the buffer keeps getting filled with new data continuously So that you don't miss the latest drops right? So capture ASP type ASP drop all circular buffer Now how do you check if your data is getting dropped? So you see show cap ASP pipe include and put in your IP address that you're looking for so I'm basically looking for 2.2.2 and there you go it says I'm dropping it I'm dropping the packets which are sourced from 2.2.2 and going to destination 67.1.13.142 I am dropping them these are UDP 500 and what is the drop reason why are you dropping them it says no urgency no valid urgency well this means this guy doesn't know how to go back this guy doesn't know how to reach this 67.1.13.142 and why doesn't it know do we not have a route let's figure that out so it's a show route in network not in table okay let's check the routing table then does it not have a default route gateway of last resort is not set so it doesn't have a default route it has a route for 2.network, it has a route for 10.network, it has a route for 192.168 network and that's all it has. It doesn't know how to reach 67.1.13.142 that's why this guy is dropping it with a reason no valid urgency, no urgency. So how do we fix it now? So we just simply tell him how you can reach. So you can reach let me check the interface show IP so you can go via outside and you can reach 
255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.